Hello, Endurance Journey and Regina Multi Sports Swim Crew. The fall swim is about to begin. So what I'm going to do today is give you a breakdown of the equipment that you need and the attitude you need to bring to get the most out of the session. All right, let's talk about equipment. There are five, count them, five pieces of equipment that are super important and will help you have the best experience possible when you're coming to the swim sessions. Firstly, let's talk about your feet. Fins. So these are swim fins. As you can see, they're mid-length. Uh, these are the best kind. The real short ones aren't great for most triathletes because most of you have really stiff ankles and you need a little bit of extra blade on the front to help work that ankle flexibility. So mid-length swim fins, roughly 30, 30 to 40 bucks in that range. Okay, there's those. Next thing. Working our way up. Pull boy. So this is a Finis one. Uh, there's lots of different ones. I sell these MV ones, which are pretty cool. They have uh, little taps on the top that you can take out and add more water for more resistance because everybody loves more resistance when they're swimming. But super buoyant. These both, about $20 plus tax in that range. So there's those. Continuing to move up, we need swim snorkel. So this is really important because we do a lot of different drills where we're working on your stroke and we wanna make sure that you can just focus on your stroke and not have to worry about breathing at the same time. So this is a Michael Phelps one. There's Finise that makes one. Again, around that $40 range. Get them at Amazon, Swimco, and in the loss in there sells them as well. Next up, moving on up, good set of goggles. Make sure they fit well. Easiest way to check is when you get them at the store, you take them out of the case, and you put them on your face, and they should stick there, just like that. If they don't stick, usually means they don't have a good seal, so try a different pair. So there's your swim goggles there. And then, Lastly, for everybody, you need a good swim cap. Okay, so make sure, protect your hair. It's the only set you got, so make sure you take care of it. Now, for the performance swim group, the other piece of equipment that we'll need eventually, won't need it right away, is a tempo trainer. A lot of you who have swam with me before know what this is, and you have one. If you don't have one for the first session, don't sweat it. We're not gonna use it for a little bit, but that's coming. And the other piece is an ankle strap. So this is a Finis one. You can get Speedo, which has the Velcro. Basically holds your ankles together with a pull boy in to help your alignment as you're swimming. So that can be super helpful. Well, these are about 10 bucks. Tempo Trainer, about 40 bucks in that range. Okay, so the main five pieces of equipment you need again. Swim cap, swim snorkel, fins, pull boy, and make sure you got a good pair of goggles. So those are your, your big five that you need. So make sure that you bring those to every single session. Now, as far as your attitude's concerned and expectations, you want to make sure that you come in with a positive attitude. Be grateful that you're there. Be ready to learn. Keep an open mind. Swimming is one of those things that takes time, and you need to be really patient with it especially if you're starting at a really beginner level, you're not going to make these amazing gains in two sessions. The key here is consistency. Show up every day. I always say if you want to improve your swimming and that's your goal is to improve your swimming, you've got to be swimming at least three times a week, minimum. Anything less than that, it's really hard to improve your stroke because you're just not doing enough repetition to make it worth your while. The last thing and most important thing is come into each session with the mindset of having a focus on doing things to your best ability possible. It makes no sense for you to show up and just go through the motions. Show up and be purposeful. Be in, come in with intent, really focusing on the drill. Ask questions. If you're not sure why we're doing something, ask so you understand why. Be accountable for your time. 
you do all those things, we'll have a great session together. We will see you Tuesday night.